Welcome back everyone to Star Oasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. In this video, I will go over some questions and I will try to answer them in a simple way in a strategy context. So let's jump in. Welcome back traders to Star Oasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. Today's video is about answering a question sent by a viewer of the channel. So Nathan sent a question. Oh, first of all, thank you for your kind words. Uh, the question is how to go, how to build a strategy based on RSI going long when the level crosses below 30% and taking profit when the level crosses above 70%. Now, of course, this is really easy to do in Algo Wizard. Go to Fill Wizard and set your uh, engine. And let me pick the favorite. RSI uh, instrument, it's ES, and it's one future contract at a time. So the simplest way is to do it through the direct RSI, which is we pick relative strength, and then we pick period two and shift zero. Now period, of course, you can do whatever. I do two because it's faster. And then we want it below and the level is 30%. Then the exit is again when the RSI relative strength index of 2 is greater than 70. Of course, we know this will do very well on ES, as I uh, mentioned this on many videos before. <laughs> and so here it is. It's 456 trades and making about 109,000. Now we can do this in another way. So let me copy this and let me pick a boolean here falls. And the reason for it is so that we have it and we don't need to uh, copy, uh, enter it again. So let me delete this now and let me show you the other way to do it. So if we go again to RSI, you will see that RSI has also multiple blocks, which is changing direction, rising falling higher than level lower than level crosses above and changing direction in the other way so since we are looking at lower than a level we want lower than 30 so we can do this rsi is lower than level and again the period is two based on closed and the level is 30 and there is no shift so this one should produce the same result and we can test it and it does produce the same result. So now we know that this one is also the same. So copy and let's paste here. And now let me show you another way because we're doing the RSI alone. So let's do the RSI again. And now we will do the RSI crosses above or below a level. Now again, we're looking for below. So we'll look crosses below level. And again, close period is two and level is 30 and shift is zero and again this sh should produce the same result now it's the same number of trades but for some reason it's a little bit more profit i wouldn't put too much attention to this but i know the logic says that these should be the same why because i only have the rsi to take the signal from so remember this crosses below 30 it happens only on a single bar while the rsi below 30 can happen on multiple bars like the rsi below a level i might spend 100 bars when the rsi below 30 but there is only one single bar that's going to happen where the rsi crosses from above 30 to below 30. so when the rsi alone they will produce the same number of trades but when I put it with other indicators, then they will, will behave differently. Okay, I copied here. So you can do it on the exit the same way. And you will have your own strategy. Of course, now if you want to change this, let's say you want to test a 25. So you have to come back and, and test each one separately. Of course, you can do this as a template. And you go to advance, switch it to a template. And now when you come here, instead of the level 25, you can say generate randomly 
and it will go let's say from 5 to 100 step 5 then you need to save this and you need to bring it into the retester and use it now there is another way a simpler way to do this since this strategy is very simple the rsi i can actually instead of this is too much work now and I, i'm only changing the this is the only randomness in it which is the level i can create also another level here to randomly but then i'm i'm stuck with close and then i can create another randomly here to change the shift but this is too much and i have no actually no control i have better control in builder so let me show you what i mean so if you go to builder and let's set uh, so no ranking just switch off everything and no cross check money management is one and let's do so same engine and esd and we're gonna build a simple one and same thing long only no stop loss no profit target and this condition will not apply because i'm gonna customize it inside and it's important here to switch to random instead of genetic all trading options are off and then we go to building blocks so in signals just click all and click off so zero block is selected again here all zero block and here switch all so no, nothing is selected and here i will switch everything off and keep only exit rule and here i will enter at market basically i want to mimic the algo wizard so this is like the algo wizard i'm only entering the next day at market i'm only exiting with one rule and right now i have nothing selected so let me go down to the signals and let me go to rsi and let's pick the same one so the rsi crosses above level below level so if we go to custom you can see that sqx is using these default sets to generate strategies i know it's randomly but the randomness based on these template so for example this one has a period of 14 and then compute it from randomly and the level is random and the shift is random and these random numbers are here so it's computed from close open high low median the level is random between 0 to 100 step 5 and the shift is random between minimum and maximum set from global and this global value is is this one so when you go to what to build and here are the global conditions so the shift this is the uh, it's going to take it from here so we can customize this again let me go to rsi now i'm going to customize it with a set of our own so add new set and let's use to mimic the uh, the algo wizard we will use the close only and then the period i will use a fixed value of two and the level will go from 0 to 100, step 5, and no shift. So now this is exactly like the algo wizard, except now I am iterating on the level from 0 to 100 with a step of 5. Now, if, we, if I leave it like this, again, SQ, SQX will use all these equally, because each have a weight of 1. So if I want to use only set 12, I can of course delete these or I can just get rid of the, their weights. So now only our set has a weight of 1. Of course, you increase this weight and leave this at 1. Let's say we put this at 10 and this at 1. Then SQX will use this 10 times while using 1 time here. And so that's how the weight works. But if you leave it at zero and this is weight one, that's it. Then this is only going to be used only this set. So I can do the same for the RSI closes. And this is our set. We're using the close. And if we check the cross level about, we check the custom and I have the set already. And we can, we're can we using the close period two and level zero to five, zero to 100, step five and no shift. And again, no, uh, no weights except this one. 
so now SQX engine will use these two blocks to build random strategies using long only random generation no stop loss or profit weight this the data is trade station es and these are the building blocks and only market at entry and the exit rule is one of these guys because we're using it for entry and exit so theoretically the the variation is you can see from 0 to 100 that's 19 steps so 19 steps let's bring up the calculator so 19 steps and it will also enter when it crosses above so the entry is 19 times 2 the exit is same thing it will enter uh, it will exit when it's above level or below level so 38 times 38 that's 14 and then the it will not use of course the 100 so minus 38 so we should get 14 or 6 strategies now that's why i said keep this at random generation random generation basically will go over all combinations it will not use genetic evolution to find the best so it will just spit out all all uh, strategies Again, uh, no filters and no robustness check. So let's go to progress and let's start building. Two hours later. And you can see now we're already there. Sometimes, because I did this many times on different strategies, uh, I think if you do my multi bar strategy you can find also you can count how many strategies you're gonna get so sometimes strategy quant will stop because th th that's it theoretically we, these are all the combinations so it sh should stop so sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't and of course i assume that this is a bug so if it doesn't just stop it and these are all the combinations now and we can check these combinations if we go to source code and just pick sudo and you can see that the RSI period will always be two in all these strategies. And the only thing changing here is crosses above a level and crosses ab above. This can also change from above to below and the level will change. And if you keep an eye on them, you can see only these guys are changing. And now since it's a lot, you see, you can, it's a lot easier. We just generated 1,406 strategies. And this would have taken ages in Algoza to do it. And even with template, it's also uh, annoying. Uh, in any case, instead of saving this as a template and bringing it back uh, to the retester and building, I think this is a much better way to test. Now, of course, if we can sort on the on these guys, and let's just pick the, I don't know, the top uh, 22 strategies. And just create a portfolio Again, this portfolio will only use the results and not the logic. So keep this in mind when working with SQX. And let's switch it off. Let's go to portfolio. Because I want to show you that if you compute the uh, correlation, you can see that a lot of them are not correlated, even though you were using basically the same concept. I know the logic will be different, but this is very good. And so you can see, you can get a really good portfolio out of these uh, strategies. So these two are good. And then these, of course, this one is good with all strategies except for these four. But you can get like really 10 strategies. Now we can go uh, a little bit further, which is I only customized the level. So I only customized this. And remember, I told you it's instead of the template here it's easily you can say okay let me pick the close and the open and the median save so now close open and median is part of below and this one let me pick close high low typical so as to diversify 
So now I'll have a totally different, uh, of course, the number will be uh, totally different also, but I should have theoretically a uh, better uh, correlations. And of course, this will keep going because, you know, we just added so many variables. Let me stop it. So I can pick the top 22. And now, of course, this portfolio will, will, will be different than the previous one. And you can see this one is already better. There is much, all, almost all of them are green because we diversified the entry and the exit criteria. So you can see this is now, obviously I love Algo Wizard, but you should, you should use Algo Wizard as a, uh, as a concept to find what you're looking for and then use the builder, customizing the builder to build strategies because the builder obviously is much more powerful. powerful. Now, but sometimes the algo wizard, for example, in my multibar builder, of course, then it's better to use it than the builder. So what I'm trying to say is algo wizard is not always the perfect solution. Uh, so sometimes builder is much powerful. And again, we can add more here. We just uh, diversified these two and now I can diversify my period. And again, I can do so custom from two, let's say to 30 instead of in a step of one. But for this one, I will change it from 70 to 100 step of one. And again, what I did here now, I diversified even more. So theoretically, this should give me a better correlation than even the last one. But you get the idea. Basically, you can you can force builder to go a certain direction, and not just run randomly. Of course, after we after we want after we prove the concept, uh, it's working. Then I can force the builder to go in a certain direction. Now this doesn't happen with all strategies, but you can easily do it here. And then, of course, you can add other indicators and you can uh, add different entry levels and so on and so forth. So I hope this opened your mind to uh, other opportunities on how to use SQX. And I love these questions because they open up these, uh, these other ways to see how you can build strategies. And also, I love these questions because I know that this question is probably on another trader's uh, mind. But, you know, some people are shy or too busy to send the questions. So usually the question not help only the viewer, but help other traders uh, that in the same boat. So please keep these questions coming or comment on the uh, comment section below the video and I'll be happy to answer them. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the content, please do hit the like button so Google can push it to other traders. It really helps the channel. And if you like the content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you soon.